Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm here uh, with a new look and thinking that um, as far as Sunday being a holiday, um, Easter, spring, whatever holiday that you're using or um, like, then um, I'm hoping that maybe this look will help you uh, to really enjoy that holiday. So um, to start off with, I have been uh, going over and over and over what I can use to go ahead and get a glowy, glowy look. And I have had this uh, makeup on for about eight hours. And um, I actually didn't put on any bronzer this morning, so I did come back and add a little bronzer in. And I think I kind of missed a place, so hold on just a second. That's the only thing that I've added in, though, was just some bronzer. So, I mean, that's basically what I've done, so. And the bronzer I'm using is the Sungasm. Uh, this is the Zero Two. And this is by Catrice. It's a really good bronzer. And like I said, that's the only thing that I've, um, that and the lipstick is the only thing that I've touched up. But starting back, I have three products that mix together really, really work well to give you a glowy look and keep a glowy look. And um, so the first one is the NYX Born to Glow. Wonderful, amazing product. Second one is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh, and I have mine in 5N. And then the third product is going to be the Glowish. And um, if you go ahead and use all three of these products, you get a very, very glowy look. It's what I've had have on as my base. I've had it on for eight hours and um, again I'm still looking very very glowy. Um, as far as the other products that I had like under uh, those base ones, I did have the Super Drops Brightening and Oxygenating by Beauty Pie. So I did have that one on underneath. And um, so those three products will definitely give you a glowy look and the Glowish Powder will lock that in and give you a finish on top that will be even more glowy. So uh, moving on from there, I thought I'd go ahead and tell you about the cheeks. And what I did was I used the Saharan Blush Volume 2 by Juvia's Place. And so um, I went ahead and used these two colors right here. And then um, I mixed it with the ColourPop. This is Desert Rose. And so I mixed it with this color from ColourPop. Give me a peachy pinky kind of look as far as that goes. And then as far as what I went ahead and used for the uh, highlight, the sole. This is their um, highlighter in Rosé, and this is one of their uh, bigger ones. Um, the ones that, the label them, if they say many on them, they're going to be about half the size. In fact, I'll show you right now, because I put on two highlighters today. So this is Sol, uh, their Rosé, and this is Sol Starlight. And I have a combination of those two on as my highlighter today. And uh, so this is the sole regular size to use all over the body. And this is mini. Um, you can use it all over the body or, you know, just on the face. But that's a difference between these two. And they have it labeled if it's mini so that you'll know that it is. And then as far as what else I've done, I did the um, Essence I Love Extreme here as far as my mascara. Oh, my products just got moved. And I don't know. I'm the only one that could have moved them. Uh, the next Thicket Stick It in Cool Blonde and Cool Lash Blonde. Um, I did go ahead and use this one as far as uh, it's color 140 and it's the Ink Crayon uh, Super Stay by Maybelline. Set that on. And then um, I got that little sampler set from Tower 28. This is uh, their lip gloss and fire. So I actually have both of these on. 
And then as far as the eyeshadow goes, let me go ahead and get that and I'll be right back. I, I do a lot of my videos right after makeup application, so I actually had to sit back and take a moment and think, what did I use? But I didn't remember, and it was a Garden Variety by ColourPop, and this is another really good um, palette from them. And um, I don't think this one's available anymore, which is making me sad, but it's okay. Um, I used this one on the inner corner. And then I used the green on the lid, and I went ahead and used this one, um, and this is what's on the outer, um, outer lid area, and then this one is also right under the brow, and I also used, and of course it is in here right now, so for you it's going to be just a second, for me I'm going to run and get it, and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and used the Garden Variety from ColourPop mostly, um, but I did go ahead and dip into the Beauty Bay, the Bright palette, and um, I went ahead and put a little bit of this color on the lid as well. And so this one's, uh, the Beauty Bay palette is available on the Beauty Bay website, and any of the ColourPop products are available on the ColourPop website, and Soul is also available on the ColourPop website um, because it's a sister company to ColourPop. So I think that is all the products I have on, except for one, which would be the eyeliner, and it's ColourPop Gel Eyeliner. As far as the way that the look came out, it's the way the look came out. And I'm thinking, you know, if Easter, you're doing an Easter egg hunt, or you're going out, you know, for a solstice something, or whatever. And I remembered my other one. I went ahead and tried one of the rock candy and um, glitters, because it's the only glitter that I haven't tried so far. So um, I went ahead and used this one. Uh, it's a rock candy palette. It's a larger palette. It has about 30 shadows in it, but their larger palettes are nice. They're smaller, and this is a ColourPop one. It's um, smaller, so it basically fits in your hand, and then you can go ahead and use it while you're uh, doing shadows. And so again, uh, what I used was um, this one right there. Uh, just to see how it looked because I haven't used it before and as you can see it has smudges all over it and that's because I love using these and so I'm using them a lot even though yeah I haven't gotten through the whole color so there's a whole bunch of color stories in these so anyway again I think I showed you this before but this way you know where the glitter came from and that's the way that that looks um, Again, the only thing that I've touched up is the lipstick, and I didn't have any bronzer on, so I put a little bit of that on. Um, but I think the look came out really good, and I think it would be fun and peachy and good. Um, <laughs> so uh, that's a look, and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.